Hello, how y'all doing, people of God? Um, hope everybody's well and blessed in Jesus' name. I have this very important video of observation, what I noticed on uh, praying on people's downfall. And um, it's not just about ordinary people. It just, I see this a lot, especially on social media, and I hear it in conversations. It's been said to me a numerous amount of times in which um, people really do pray for people's downfall. And, um, and that's not to say that, you know, children of God is to be dumbfounded and, and to not acknowledge that God will be God because he will be, you know, no matter the circumstance. Um, you know, there's consequences to our actions, consequences to sin, um, consequences to obedience to the Lord. So therefore, um, we do reap what we sow. But on the other hand, just praying and hoping that someone else fall is another thing that's not of God that's not godly thinking in fact you know I've hear I've heard conversations in which people will say you know they need to go to hell you know we hear that term a lot like go to hell and for someone that has been there like myself in July of 2020 the summer of July 2020 I went to hell the Lord Jesus allowed me to go there because of my sins my sins were so great and God was tired of it and he knew exactly how to get my attention. He knew how to get my attention so I could repent, so I could turn on him, so I could rely on him. And my desperate need for salvation, my desperate need for him, my desperate need for grace and mercy from him. Amen. Prior to that, I didn't know um, that there were consequences to how I was living. I, I was just living my life, you know, like what people say, living your best life. But um, there are consequences to what we do in this life um, that will determine our eternal life. Amen. A lot of people don't believe that there's eternity that we will step into after we leave this physical realm here on earth. There is a, a place that we will go to, two different places, either heaven or hell. Okay, and I always mention that because I have to. That is my experience. And so, therefore, you know, saying for people to go to hell is just like out of the question for me. I want us to all make it, y'all. That goes for everyday people, common folk. That goes for celebrities. And um, I remember when that Diddy, you know, the allegations came up for him. I remember, you know, when I was a kid back in the 90s, there were many allegations about him. And he actually, you know, he did get arrested on many different things. And it's like, you know, now his most recent one from, I think, November of 2023, that um, there was some more serious allegations that came about. And his place got raided all, the whole nine. Y'all know what happened. And, um... You know, I would just see comments on social media like, oh, yeah, he's getting exactly what he deserved. And it's like people are so cold hearted, cold blooded. Like, you know, the, the thing of anticipating somebody's downfall is it, just disgusting to me. It's disgusting to me as a believer of Christ, as a child of God, um, you know, walking with Jesus, learning of his principles, his laws and statutes, reading his word. It's just like that don't sit well with me no more. You know, prior to being a child of God, I used to think the same way. Like, oh, yeah, you're going to get what you deserve. You're going to get what you deserve. And it's like now my train of thought is God will be God. I know that there's consequences of sin that goes for everybody. That goes for myself, too. So it's just humbling to know that. And, um, you know, having a fear of the Lord is everything. Number one, it is like, you know, when people do things deliberately and they live in a wild lifestyle without um, thinking of the consequences or even believing that there are consequences make me understand that, you know what, I have the fear of the Lord. And, and, and hopefully this person or these people, you know, get the fear of the Lord too and be saved. That's my thought train um, now because um, I don't want to see nobody fall down. You know, no matter how much wickedness they do, I, I wouldn't want nobody to go to hell. Like, come on now. And it's like, you know, it's, it's something um, that people will even have that in their heart to be like, oh, you're going to go to hell. You need to go to hell. And it's just like, man, if only you could experience that, you would not wish that on nobody. You would not wish that on anyone. Um, you will want them to make it. You will want them to repent. You will want them to encounter Jesus like you did. Because um, everybody is not going to encounter Jesus. And so... You know, it's just a humbling thing to know that, that you were chosen. And, you know, you and I were chosen um, for a time like this to share the good news of Jesus to people, even the people who um, 
don't have a fear of the Lord, who don't believe in Jesus, who don't care to read the Bible, to learn of him, to think that they're their own gods. You know, we're here to share the gospel with them, to share the good news, share our testimony, be transparent in that so people could could understand and be able to relate to you like, oh, wow, you had these type of addictions and you mean to tell me I could be uh, free from these things? There's people that actually want to be free. You know, there's people that live in sin that actually want to be free. They don't know why they do the things they do. They don't know why they're in fornication having sex before marriage. They don't know why they can't quit the porn, the masturbation, the uh, lying, the manipulation, um, and, and the list goes on. They don't know um, that they could quit these things through Jesus Christ. Amen. And so that's why it's important for us believers to share to people, to share to them. Like, hey, I've been through this and Jesus delivered me from this. Or I'm still struggling with this. The Lord is working on me with this. Amen. Because some things will take some time. And God knows. Only God knows, y'all. Some things will take a little bit more time. Through a lot of fasting, through a lot of prayer, um, and, and seeking the Lord. And, and being able to trust in Him. You know, some things take time. Some people have been damaged and hurt um, to a capacity to where it, it caused them trauma in their lives. And they're still praying to the Lord about it for healing. They're still seeking him for healing. So not everything is a snap of a finger. Amen. And at the end of the day, God will get the glory for the healing of his children. Amen. And for people who are um, have an open heart to the Lord and want to be saved, they want a new life through Jesus. So that's why we're here. And um, that goes for social media and in real life, too. You know, we don't look upon people's downfall. We don't look forward to that. We don't look forward to people getting arrested. We don't look forward to people uh, being killed, going to jail, going to hell. None of that. You know, we got to have a mindset, you know, your child of God to have a mindset that, hey, I, I'm praying for this brother. I'm praying for this sister because they are in some serious trouble, Lord, and only you can set them free. We have to have a heart for people. Otherwise, how could we call ourselves a child of God? We still here on, here on earth just like they are. You know, the difference is we've been chosen by the Lord Jesus Christ. They too can be chosen with prayer. Pray for people. Again, not everybody's going to be chosen. That's between them and God. And so, yeah, when people fall short and um, and uh, live their own lifestyle, that's between them and God. But what a child of God could do that's, that's observing, that sees somebody struggling, that's living in sin, that's habitually doing things and, and not thinking of consequences is to pr simply pray for them. Yes, we could warn people, but if, if we don't know how to do that, we're coming at them hard. Oh, you're going to go to hell. You're going you gonna to do this. They don't, they can't hear that because a lot of people don't even believe in consequences. They don't have the fear of the Lord. So how can they relate to that? Amen. It's through our testimony, through Jesus Christ, we could testify of Jesus' good works in our life, how he's the healer in our life so people could, so the light could be shined on Jesus and not ourselves. We can't heal people. We could pray for them. We cannot heal them. Jesus is the healer. His word is the healer. It's in his word. And so the most loving thing we could do for people is to simply pray for them. Pray for them. Amen. So, yeah, prayer prayer does not go void. We have a, a willing heart, an honest heart for people to be saved. We pray for them. Otherwise, if we, we're looking forward to somebody's downfall, that's a condition of the heart that we got to come clean with with God. Because having that type of anger, that hostility, that, that hatred in our hearts, that bitterness, that revengeful heart, it's not of God. It's just not. Again, there are some people who struggle with some things in their life where they're traumatized, where they've dealt with some people who deliberately hurt them. I'm one of those people. But Jesus set me free. He set me free. It was time to let it go. Otherwise, I'm going to live my life with a heart of unforgiveness, with hate and murder in my heart. You know how far your heart could go if you simply... Start by disliking somebody. It could go further. It could go much further. 
the more you see that person, the more you're around them, the more wickedness they do, your heart could be begin to condition to start to hate that person. So we got to be careful. That's why we give it to the Lord Jesus Christ, who has the ultimate power to th turn things around. And, not, and that, it don't have to necessarily mean to turn them around. Some people can be given over to a reprobate mind. That's between them and God. That's not our business. Our business is with our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, to make sure our heart posture is right with him, first and foremost. I'm learning this, y'all. I truly am. And so I just want to make this video on, um, you know, not praying on people's downfall. That's serious stuff. Now, it's one thing to struggle, amen, to, to where you have to ask, Lord, Lord, I need help with this, with forgiving this person or these people. I need help with this, Lord. I'm really struggling. He can hear you with that. That's that's being honest. It's not saying like, oh, I'm going to forgive and, and let everything go. Some things take time. That's between you and God. You know, you have an honest heart to forgive people. He will grant you that. He will see that. He will see your struggle and help you with that. We don't have to fight alone, y'all. We don't have to fight. No battles alone. Remember that on today. But uh, yeah, we're called to love people. Even the difficult people, we're called to love them too. And, I, and I'm ministering to myself right now because I have difficult people in my family that's deliberately doing things all the time and it's wickedness. But I have to correct myself. If my mind begins to travel or my heart begins to travel in a way where it's just like I'm starting to get hard towards these people, I'm calling on the Lord. I'm calling on the Lord. Lord, please forgive me. Please help me with my mind. I'm going to praise and worship. I want to obey you, Lord. I want to be obedient to you. Lord, it's not about me. It's not about my circumstances. It's about what you have done and what I believe you could do in my life. So yeah, that's that's the message on today, y'all. Um, not looking forward to people's downfall. All right, y'all have a blessed rest of your day and blessed rest of the week. Take care.